Welcome to the show, everyone. Today, we're going to be looking at a few trending article topics. The first one being the doping of Lance Armstrong, and the second one being the new gun laws here in the United States of America. Only a few states are involved. We're going to take a look at what those restrictions imply and uh, kind of a, a way around it or, or uh, a way to understand them a little bit better. That might be a little more accurate. Stay tuned, everyone. Today we will be looking at Lance Armstrong's uh, doping article here and uh, the president's gun violence reduction actions here uh, taking place quickly. Now the first one, uh, Lance Armstrong, I read this article here through N Newsday and it says right off the bat, it says he did it, he finally admitted it, Lance Armstrong doped. So it's good that you know we come out and we're, we're being honest now, but uh, I guess he admits he missed the doping through his through his 1999-2005 winning uh, winning series there. I'd have to look up exactly how many he won to be 100% sure um, and which of those he doped through. Um, but my, my thoughts on this are, you know what, if you're going to dope, I don't think you should uh, should be able to keep your wins, keep your medals, uh, whatever they do win for the Tour de France. But um, I believe that they you know, should be revoked, and I don't, I don't think that he should be uh, taking this lightly. Um, I did see something on uh, Reddit a few days back about you know how many people that won the Tour de France actually doped, and it's the number's pretty high. Um, I think it went from 1980 up to current day, and uh, you'd you'd be surprised to know that uh, a lot of them have, which is really sad, um, and it makes you question uh, you know what other sports and things that have taken place uh, also involved uh, uh, steroids and doping things like that. Um, so definitely a trending topic right now. The next one we're going to be talking about are the new uh, gun violence reduction acts. There's 23 of them here. I'm looking at them, and they are you know everything from launching a national safe and responsible gun ownership campaign that I read it verbatim. That's number seven. Um, to nominating an ATF director. Um, uh, to providing incentives for schools to hire uh, school resource officers, uh, just a, a whole a whole bunch of these, like twenty, like I said, twenty three here. Um, how do I feel about this? I, I, you know, I agree with them. Number seven, uh, launch a, a national safe and responsible gun ownership campaign. I believe that everyone, you know, everyone should go through that. If you're gonna, if you're gonna own a gun, um, you should take the right preparations, uh, keep it safe. Um, and things like that. I, I believe you should have a background check before you uh, before you are issued a, a gun license, a pistol permit, or whatever it whatever it should read there. Um, I believe these things are are good. Um, I'd have to read into more. I know they have like a, a round capacity um, a restriction now. I think it's less than seven rounds or ten rounds or something like that. Um, I don't personally own an assault rifle. I I don't disagree with people owning assault rifles. But then again, maybe this is, the restrictions should be a little bit higher for those who are going to own those uh, assault rifles. Now, um, like I said, I do not, and I you know I stick with um, you know hunting rifles and things like that, shotguns. Um, but you know I, I believe it's it's all right, you know, the right to bear arm, and I, I believe that if you want an assault rifle, you should you should be able to get one. Um, now the restrictions put on those, I, don't, I believe they're in a few states now. Um, but there should be some restrictions um, because obviously what happened a few weeks back there um, with the with the school shooting that's it's just terrible but you know I think if, if we got this the right way and uh, definitely definitely listen to people listen to what they have to say and um, and uh, take into account the large population of gun owners in this country uh, so I think these are really important topics today thank you guys for listening we should hit that sub button and I will continue these news stories. So thank you very much for listening, guys. Thanks.